All right, now that we've looked at the built-in content types, it's time to create a couple of custom content types. As you remember from the introduction to content types, we don't want to shove everything in the body. That's kind of silly. We're going to create two custom content types in this section of the course. We're going to create events content type that tracks all the Drupal events around the world and a user groups content type that manages user groups from around the world as well as then connects the two because user groups will sponsor events and events are sponsored by user groups. All right, let's dive in. Go ahead and click on structure and content types. Here's our two basic content types. Click the blue button, add content type. We're going to call our content type events. And this is where we track all the Drupal events from around the world. <laughs> you can put anything you want in there. It's the description that will appear on the content type page. You'll also notice that Drupal gave it a machine name. Without going into too much detail here in this beginner level class, the machine name is basically the name of the table in the database that Drupal assigns the content to. The submission form settings, go ahead and change the word title to event name. Makes more sense, doesn't it? On the publishing options, let's check create new revision. So that means every time a node is edited, a new version will be created and Drupal will track that for us. We'll leave the other things as they were. Let's turn off the display author and date information. It's kind of not important for this one. And here's something I recommend for every content type. Click on menu settings, uncheck all or any of the menus that might be checked. Do you really want a content editor adding a thousand events to your menu structure and making a mess out of it? So we're going to override this by saying, no, we're not going to allow anyone to add an event to a menu item. If we want one later on, well, we can do it manually ourselves. All right, click Save and Manage Fields. Once our event content type is saved, you'll see that we have our body field. Go ahead and click on Edit. And let's change the label to Event Description. Again, that's a little bit more helpful, isn't it? And click Save Settings. Well, congratulations. You've just created your first custom content type in Drupal. It's pretty limited at this point. Basically title and body, which is the same as the basic page. In the next video, we're going to add a whole bunch of fields, and we're going to make this a lot more helpful.